This is my black MacBook. It has the 2.4 gigahertz Core 2 Duo processor. It also has 4 gigabytes of RAM. I'm going to show you how the OS X and Windows dual boots. You hold the Option key on boot up, and then it presents you with the menu. Your choices are the OS X operating system, Windows, and then the recovery partition. I'm just going to go into OS X here. As you can see, it's in great condition. Uh, there's a little bit of wear. Uh, it shows up on the camera uh, on some of the keys, but everything is in good condition overall. The screen is nice and bright. Looks very good. I'll upload some high definition pictures, but as you can see, the case itself is in great condition. I uh, haven't found any dents or dings or anything crazy like that. The only thing that's been done to this uh, MacBook is the 4GB RAM upgrade, um, which really helps out. I'll show you right here. Four gigabytes of RAM. It has a 250 gig hard drive, um, which has obviously the Windows 7 and OS X on it. In Windows 7, there's Office 2010 installed. Here you'll see all the restore disks have been made. So you've got your Windows 7 repair disk, your Windows 7 image disks right there. So that's a full system image in case anything uh, goes wrong you can just restore it. The OS X Lion restore disk has also been created. Uh, the Windows utility disk and then this is this last one which I'm not going to show because it has the key on it um, is the uh, Windows 7 professional um, reinstalled disk and key. Other than that we have a charger this is a replacement charger, um, so it's newer than the uh, MacBook. Okay, gets good battery life. Right now it's reporting four hours. It probably won't get four hours uh, with more heavy utilization, um, but the battery is good and holds a good charge. Okay, that's not a scratch, just some, some wear. There, but you see everything is in good condition. Just going to shut this down. As you see, I'm just holding the option key there, and you hold it while it boots up. And you're given the choice. This time I'm going to select Windows. Oh, there we go. Okay. And it's going to boot into Windows. One thing I did notice was the optical drive. Sounds kind of loud. I've never had, so you can hear there. Um, I've never had a slot load drive before, so maybe that's just how they are. Um, but just figured I would note it so you'll be able to hear that. But obviously, all these discs were burned with this drive. It's got the um, super drive in it, so it can read and burn CDs and DVDs, um, and it works perfectly. And all this is on uh, battery power, as you can see the chargers right there. Give you a quick overview of the ports here while Windows is loading. On the side, you can see we've got the power connector, the mini DVI port, uh, your LAN port, FireWire, a couple of USBs, microphone, headphone, and Kensington lock. Over on the other side here, we just have obviously the DVD drive. Okay, 
And we're in Windows now. Uh, Windows is pretty straightforward. I've noticed the battery life is not as good in Windows as it is in OS X. Um, so I, I guess take that how you will. Um, maybe OS X is a little bit more efficient in that manner. You'll see here um, that it's got Office 2010 on it. Okay, and this is an academic install, so it's legally activated, registered, um, all that. And if something goes bad with the hard drive, you have the uh, aforementioned restore disks. So that'll all be on there um, and just flash back to how it was. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and shut this down and give you one more look at the top cover. You'll see the top cover is in excellent shape, um, but there are some little marks from where some stickers were that may come off, uh, but I didn't want to use any chemicals on it. So, just give you a quick look around here. And obviously, there's the bottom. It's got some fingerprints on it, but other than that, all feet are there. Everything is as it should be. So this will have the laptop, the charger, and the restore disks. Thanks for watching.